welcome to MDI TV. With me today is Ayan, uh, who looks after our content creation and our social media strategy. Uh, today we'll be talking about social media time management, um, a common question that we always get asked by um, lots of marketers within the uh, construction industry. Um, if you've got any of your own questions that you'd like us to cover in any of the future episodes of um, MDI TV, Feel free to tweet us at Poorly Creative, um, send in your questions or you can join in on our LinkedIn group, uh, Magical Insiders. Um, so let's kick off. Uh, first question, well if you're on social media, you know, what are your objectives? If you're struggling with time or you're thinking about what kind of time you should allocate to social media, it's important to know what your objectives are. So what are your objectives? Um, yeah, so first of all, just define your business objectives. Why are you using social media? What are you trying to achieve? You could, for example, be using it to um, create brand awareness and thought leadership. So you're trying to position yourself as a technical en expert, um, you're sharing uh, good quality articles, and um, you're also making people aware of your brand, your products, um, and what you, uh, what you offer. Uh, secondly, you can use it to drive uh, quality traffic to your website, and um, it is then your website's job to um, convert this quality traffic back uh, into leads. Um, but we'll talk about that in, a, in another episode. And thirdly, you can use it uh, for customer service. So you can use it to improve your customer service if people are uh, asking specify some questions about your products, how to install them, um, or end users have uh, questions about maintenance. This is a great way uh, for you to just answer their questions and be there and just be helpful. Hmm, okay. Um, second question, where do I start with social media? Um, should you focus on Twitter? Should you focus on Facebook? Should you focus on LinkedIn? Um, how do I go about actually starting with social media? Uh, well, the first question you have to uh, ask is, where is your audience? So this is where you have to allocate most of your time. Do some research, look at the platforms that are available. So as you mentioned, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, where uh, is your audience most active? and that should be the place that you focus most of your time. Uh, so you, you might find that obviously architects, more architects on Twitter, there are more engineers on LinkedIn. Uh, if you're targeting uh, both or either or, uh, you might focus on one particular platform or both. So again, yeah, like Ian says, it's important to identify where your audience is. Yeah, and they might also be interested in different types of content. So <clears> some might prefer white papers more in depth, whilst others might prefer videos. So um, yeah, in your research phase, this is where um, yeah, you look at things point. like that. Um, and then secondly, platforms and tools. So you, there's a lot of available tools that you can use, such as um, Hootsuite, CoTweet, TweetDeck, and these allow you to um, manage your time and manage your profiles as well. So you can add uh, your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile, your Twitter, all in the same dashboard, and it just allows you to uh, be able to update these easily. And you can also um, have several members logged into the same account, so you, if there's a team of you managing your social media account, you can uh, manage this effectively, and uh, if someone's responded, the uh, program will tell you, so it won't mean that you're doing duplicate content because you're all signed in. And thirdly, it's important to set up alerts. So this uh, saves you time actively searching for what people are saying. Um, alerts can be uh, either for your product name, for your brands, for people, key people in your company, and even for your competitors. Um, and what, two, sort, what sort of services might you use for alerts? How, what sort of software can you use or what programs can you use to alert you? of mentions of any of these uh, particular areas? Um, well, there's two main ones. There's Google Alerts, for example, which is just a, a general tool and covers all platforms. And there's also Twilight, which is Twitter-specific. And uh, it's quite easy to set up. You just sign in, you define uh, what keywords, what terms um, you want them to send you emails for, and then how often. So do you want them to send you emails once a day, twice a day? And then it just aggregates all the content relevant to that keyword or search term, and it comes straight into your inbox. So it's much easier to manage um, mentions and um, yeah, thirdly, uh, fourthly, sorry, is mobile, of course. So this allows you to have uh, access to your social media accounts instantly in your pocket when you're on site. If you've got photos to share um, uh, and you think uh, your Twitter followers or your Facebook followers will be interested in this, it's just an easy way of updating it and just always being available. Um, so it's, it's, it's more about sharing content. Maybe you've got engineers or you've got uh, members of your staff out on site on a particular project, they may have access to your social media profiles where they can post pictures of project updates yeah. or deliveries of your products on site. 
Um, it's just a bit more interesting, a bit more yeah. uh, and engaging and just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Third, time, uh, third question. Um, okay, so you've got your objectives, um, you've found where your audience is, you know what platforms you're, you're going to use, um, you've set up your alerts, your sales team or the members of your social media team have all got mobiles. Um, so how do you start allocating the time? What should you be doing and how much time do you allocate to each of those tasks? Um, well, there's mainly four activities that I would say you should uh, be spending your time on. Uh, the first one is monitoring and listening. So this ties back into um, alerts and uh, just being aware of what people are saying, how, monitoring conversations, what are they talking about, and this gives you an idea of what problems your customers are having, uh, are industry peers talking about. Um, and I'd say spend about 50% of your time um, doing this because listening is one of the most important activities. Um, and from that listening, you can then initiate. So you can initiate your conversations, so not just actively, you know, passively listening. You actually start a conversation, starting discussions, asking questions. Um, yeah, just starting conversations, basically. And that's about 20% um, of your time. Um, after that, re responding. So this is uh, where conversation uh, just starts developing because if people might be asking you questions or answering your questions, then you um, reply back and... Um, yeah, respond to their mentions and just yeah, get engaged in conversation and that's probably another 20%. Um, and then lastly, measuring. So keeping an eye on your Google Analytics to see uh, what traffic is uh, Twitter driving back to your website, what are people looking at, um, just so you know um, if your efforts are working or not. So measuring could be, if your objective is to drive traffic through to your website, um, you may find that measuring will become a daily activity, um, if, especially if your objective is you need to be able to measure and monitor how much of that traffic um, is coming from Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, and if again, if, those, if that traffic is actually turning into inquiries or downloads or registrations, um, subscriptions even to your newsletter. Okay, and a typical day might look like this. Yeah, so this explain. is just um, yeah, just a rough example of um, what you do throughout the day. Uh, first of all, when you come in, 9 o'clock in the morning, have a look at your mentions. Has anyone tweeted you? Has anyone posted on your uh, LinkedIn discussion group? Secondly, have a look at your alerts. So what's, what are the topics that people are talking about? Is there any news, anything that um, is important or um, uh, that you can collate then to later on share? So find what people are talking about. Uh, say, oh, this is going to be interesting to my followers. This will be interesting to them. And then mm. think about... And, you know, sharing that throughout the day. Yeah, that's absolutely key. For collating information, you might be a, um, a company that provides solar panels. Therefore, you should really be collecting information on feed-in tariffs or environmental type information or um, information targeted to homeowners. Anything to do with the product that you provide. Um, it's almost like sharing related content yeah. as well as your own content. Yeah, so um, finding what other people are talking about, like news articles, have there been article, any new yeah. research or any new yeah. product developments that would interest them, yeah. your audience. Yeah, and then about lunchtime, um, I'd say spend another few minutes just responding again. Responding is something that you're going to probably do throughout the day because people are constantly talking um, online and might be asking you questions, so you have to constantly monitor that. And then also share, so some of this content that you've collated, um, you know, you can share some of that and retweet other people's content, or retweet your own as well if you've just written a blog article. Um, well, why would you want to um, share content throughout the day, or same content throughout the day? Um, I think it's mainly because people log in and out at different times of the day, so nobody's on Twitter all day long. People log in, they you know, scroll down. So they might miss your message in the morning, so maybe you have to tweet it again in the afternoon. Or you might have um, followers overseas that are obviously not awake uh, when yeah. it's morning in our time. So they might have missed your blog post, it might have been interesting to them. So uh, it's important to share several times a day. Don't overdo it, but um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, make sure that you're aware of that, that people log in at different times. Um, and also it's important to find new followers as well, so um, do some search. Uh, some searches on Twitter, find out who, who else is in your industry, who are your followers following, because they might, um, they might be following people, uh, your, your prospects, they might be following other uh, industry professionals. So, yeah. yeah, but that's building your, building your audience. And then maybe about 4 o'clock in the afternoon again, 
respond again to mentions, replies, any questions that people have asked, and start some more discussions and collect information again. So has there been any any other articles that might have been interesting that you could share tomorrow? So um, yeah, just find out, um, find some more content, and then finally measure. Just have a look at your analytics again. See what's been popular today. What what are people sharing? Is there more of that content that you can find? And mm -hmm. yeah, are they are yeah. they converting? So in terms of time, um, fifty percent of your time monitoring and listening, twenty percent initiating conversations, twenty percent of your time responding, and ten percent actually just measuring and having a look at your analytics. That isn't a day. That could be. 10 minutes, so you yeah. might spend 5 minutes um, monitoring, 2 minutes actually just initiating conversation, posting a few questions, 2 minutes responding, and then 1 minute just to have a look at your analytics. So you know, that could just be 10 minutes. And then you might spend 10 minutes at 9 o'clock, 10 minutes at 12 o'clock, and then 10 minutes at 4 o'clock. So that's 30 minutes in a day just to actively monitor, initiate, respond. You know, we're not talking about spending all day on yeah. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, but it's just actively doing these four things for 10 minutes uh, at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And especially if you've got lots of people within a team, yeah. you, know, you might split that time out. So one person might be responsible for 9 o'clock um, and just get things going for the day, and another person yeah. kind of wraps up for the day. Yeah. Um, is, there, is there something that you can, um, obviously what happens when um, questions or responses come in at say 11 o'clock at night, you know, when business hours are 9 till 5, so what do you do when a response comes at 11 o'clock at night? Well, it's kind of the same thing as an email, would you, you, know, would you reply an email at 12 o'clock at night if you were awake? Maybe you would, but most people tend to do this during business hours, so Twitter is the same. No one's going to expect you to be up at 1 o'clock in the morning, but they might expect you to then, when you get into the office, to reply to them. And if you are not available to, or you don't have the information, like somebody might have asked a really technical question, you need to ask a technical team, all it takes is to just tell them, you know, we'll, we'll be with you, we'll provide an answer in the next half hour. People just want to know that you've listened to them, yeah. so, um, yeah, yeah, it's just... Yeah, the example there that Iron gave was, well, okay, there might be a question that might be, that might be required to be taken offline, so somebody asking a technical question, you may respond with um, an email address of your technical manager and, and actually take that um, off Twitter and, and actually take it onto email. Um, so yeah, there's various ways that, that, that can be managed. Okay, well, just to kind of quickly summarize, um, what, make sure you have objectives. Um, it's important to understand what your objectives are to help you identify how much time you need to spend on social media. Yeah. Um, where do you start? Find your audience. Decide on what platform you're going to use, set up your alerts, um, and then it comes down to allocating that time. So four key areas is monitoring, initiating, responding, and measuring, and then split that out during the day. Um, three times a day, twice a day, four times a day, depending on how many people are in your marketing department. Yeah. But we hope that kind of answers all your questions. Um, if you do have any more questions regarding time management, uh, feel free to tweet us. Uh, at Poly Creative or join our LinkedIn group, My Digital Insiders, uh, and we can take the discussion further. Uh, thanks again for joining us on MDI TV. Uh, join us next week, um, and we'll be talking more about um, best practice for blogging. Yeah. See, See you then. Bye.